Hello everybody, welcome back. It's Theodore here and today we're going to be doing something really fun, something really interesting. We're going to be filming a video about film that I have frozen in the refrigerator. There's so many F's in that just one sentence and it's so hard to say because I have braces. I already have a lisp so it's even harder when you have a lisp, okay? I don't have a lisp like naturally but I have a lisp now ever since I've gotten braces. But good news is, I will be probably getting my braces off soon, according to my dentist, or orthodontist. But anyways, that's not even what I'm supposed to be here for. So as you guys can see, I left my film in the refrigerator already, and I want it to be really extreme because I feel like some of us, you know, we leave our car, we leave our film in the car for like couples of hours, and when you do that in freezing temperature, especially in the car when it's like winter, your film gets frozen so i want to know what happens when your your film gets frozen as you guys can see like this is the film pocket on the bottom right here i really wonder what will happen because certain chemicals have certain freezing points and so i'm not quite sure exactly what chemical is in the film pack so we're gonna just be leaving it in there for a little bit longer because some chemicals in the film pack might not even freeze until like a certain temperature later i'm gonna be seeing my friend so that's gonna be really fun we're gonna be go we're gonna be going to eat dinner so i think i'll be taking food pick food pics food pics you know yeah that'll be really fun polaroid originals actually just recommends you just to refrigerate your film they don't recommend you to freeze it it even says it in the on the box do not freeze. But yeah, lately it's been really cold where I live. It's like 20 something degrees. Yesterday it was freezing. So today we are actually going to be using the Polaroid One Step Plus. Plus. I felt like this camera last time worked really well. Nothing jammed. So I'm going to give it another shot this time. And also because my One Step 2 still has film in it. In the meantime, while we wait for the film to freeze, I'm just going to talk about the dramas that I've been watching. So lately, I have been watching Crash Landing on You, Memories of Alhambra, which I started to watch last year, but then I stopped at episode 8 because I was a little bored of the video or the, the drama, so I stopped. So then I watched Crash Landing on You and I finished the other day, but I di didn't really finish until yesterday because I had like 20 minutes left of the drama, but I didn't want to finish it because you know, like when you finish a drama, it's kind of like melancholy and really sad because, you know, you like the characters and it's just really sad to separate from them. So I didn't finish watching that until yesterday. So technically I didn't finish it until yesterday after I finished watching the last 20 minutes of it. But the day before that, I watched to like episode 15 and it made me cry and I don't want to like give you guys spoilers or anything yeah I cried because it was just so sad it reminded me of Sammy um passing away last year oh my gosh that totally gave it away I'm so sorry but it it was just really sad and I cried and my eyes were so puffy yesterday I couldn't film anything yesterday for you guys so here I am today to me the very ending like wasn't fulfilling enough because I still know that they're gonna still be separated because she lives in South Korea, he lives in North Korea, and no matter what, unless the two countries or they unify together, then they'll always be separated and the only place they could ever meet is Switzerland, um, which is kind of sad and she can only see him like two weeks in a year. I don't know. It's just pretty sad to me to think about that. But anyways, it was a happy ending. None of them died. Well, highly, highly, highly recommend you guys watch Crash Landing on You. It's on Netflix. It's all subtitled already. So just go watch that. So good, guys. Really good. Highly recommend. I love the freaking soundtrack. So that's why I've been listening to the soundtrack constantly. It just reminds me of the drama, you know? So yeah. Um, I've watched Hunbin many, many, many times before, like, last year when I watched him in in Memories of Alhambra. He was really good. It was just like some of the parts in the drama was kind of boring. So I stopped at episode 8, but I watched it again yesterday after um Crash after I finished Crash Landing on You and oh my gosh, like I feel like giving it a little break is necessary because now I'm like really into the drama. It's really good. It's I think it's 
by the same writers from W, so the story is really like fulfilling. Like it's just it's a lot of problem solving. Highly, highly recommend, especially if you play video games. That drama is so so good because it's like VR, but like even more than VR because people actually die from playing games. And then the some Chinese dramas I've been watching is Find Yourself with Vic Victoria Song. Okay. So the film is ready. Let's go get the film. Alright. So here's the film. I still feel like I should freeze it a little longer. I don't know, it just doesn't feel as cold. It feels pretty cold, but I don't know. I feel like I should freeze it a little longer. But I will leave it in there for a little longer. So I'm actually gonna leave it in that freezer for a little bit longer because I feel like it's not exactly cold cold yet and I want it to freeze so I'm gonna leave it in there for maybe a couple more hours to be honest but um yeah just that's just the update for now Hey guys, it's a lot later now. <clears throat> I've left the film in the freezer for like, I don't know, it's been since like 1.30 and I took it out at 5.30 and now it's 6. So that's 2, 2.30, 3.30, 4.30, 5, 30, 4 hours. I've left it in the freezer for 4 hours and here it is. I need to turn down my, my fan. Moment of truth. Okay, smooth so far. Let go. Here it is. First picture. Woo woo woo. done it's a new day and I'm just here to talk about the results so here are the pictures that we got all right guys so this project not necessarily not how I wanted it to be but it was so like against my hypothesis so I originally thought that the film would not work I mean like it would be frozen as it came out of like the chemicals when it rolled out of into the film it would just wouldn't roll because it was frozen so I'm sorry this is very anticlimactic because all of the pictures in my opinion turned out really good but I did freeze the film for four in total four hours so I started freezing it at 1 30 and I took it out at 5 30 and dinner was at 6 so as I was driving um the, the film was just still in my bag and then I didn't put that film inside of the camera until later when I got to the destination which is what was like 15 minutes later and then I didn't officially start taking a picture until like 
five minutes after I put the film into the camera. So it was very like surprising to me because I didn't realize like it really didn't do much to the film. So all of my pictures are here and I, the only thing that I could say that could potentially be because of frozen film is like it's brown and not so much pink but like it's more brown. This kind of, you know, doesn't look bad though but like I don't know like sometimes even with my film that I've done really nothing to and just took out of the refrigerator even those they look even kind of like washed out even the ones from the refrigerator those have streaks on the film and sometimes I don't even know why but this one I I deliberately left in the refrigerator or the freezer and it I guarantee you it was a very long time and I was like oh this is really cold and it was like I was pretty sure it was frozen or when the film came out nothing like nothing happened and actually I think these look a lot better than the ones that I left in the refrigerator too because sometimes the ones from the just the refrigerator they have streaks on them and I don't know why and I leave those in the refrigerator I don't know why and you know sometimes the ones that I leave in the refrigerator actually jams in the one step plus I use the one step plus again for this project and it, it worked I don't know why and I left the film in the freezer and it worked isn't that crazy and whenever I try to take a good picture with just normal film that was left in the refrigerator it doesn't work and I was like mentally prepared like this this film pack is gonna jam it's not gonna work but all of the pictures turned out fine I don't get it I really don't get it so I'm sorry this is so anticlimactic and just not how I expected it to be because I really genuinely thought oh gosh this film would not work but it it worked again the only thing that I could actually say that it could be because of frozen film is it's brown and not pink um the one that I took that turned pink from the warm the one the film that I put in the oven this one right here has pink streaks so I'm pretty sure it's because I left the film in the freezer for like four hours so that's why the chemical was fully immersed into the very extreme cold element of the freezer the chemicals were all cold but then again like I mentioned before or maybe I did maybe I didn't but each type of chemicals have its own freezing point so maybe the temperature at the time in the freezer wasn't necessarily the freezing point for the chemicals in the little pockets so that's why it didn't necessarily like freeze 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 I don't know science I took two chemistry classes in college and that's all I could remember freezing points that is gonna be it for today guys I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video again I'm so sorry it's so anticlimactic but again you guys can definitely leave your film in the freezer I don't think it does that much harm to it and actually I might start leaving my film in the freezer because it's actually working a lot better than the refrigerator I think I really really like the um what is this called the one step plus so in order to use this I guess I need to freeze my film or leave my film in the oven from now on because if I don't it starts to jam I don't know like this camera is so different I don't know maybe it's not even that and it just decided to work it these two times so yeah hey right, guys that is it and I hope that you guys liked it make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below and also hit that bell button to get notifications whenever I do a new post or something like that and also I am starting a WordPress I'm starting a website for now it is just it's Theodore at word, uh, dot WordPress dot com so eventually I'm gonna make it to a website something cooler not called it's Theodore you know but I'm thinking I'm thinking about it I have I have I have some ideas in this book right now all of my ideas are in this book with Jungkook and Top and RM and Suga and J-Hope by the way happy birthday J-Hope anyways that is it I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video and please follow me on other socials at it's Theodore and I'll see you guys next time. Adios! This is